Chaos Child is fantastic. Having finished it not too long ago, it blew me away and managed to live up to every great thing that people said about it for years. I could do an entire video just gushing about the game and telling you all to play it, and someday I will, but I don't want to throw down $35 to record it for footage. At least, not yet. But certain parts of the game led me to remembering one of my favorite parts of the Science Adventure franchise, its off-brand products. Over the course of over a decade, the Society V series has created a goldmine of bland name products, some being pretty well known and others slipping between the cracks. So to substitute for not being able to record Chaos Child, let's take a look at a hefty selection of bland name products from the Science Adventure series. First, let's lay down some ground rules. To start, this video is about compiling the in-universe brands of Society V, not compiling a list of references. A bland name product needs to be something that can clearly be recognized as its real world equivalent while being different enough to be legally distinct. Thus, while Back to the Mail and The Mail That Left Through Time are good references, they don't count, since in universe we don't know what's being referenced. Next, for the purpose of culling some of the numbers here, I'll be refraining from mentioning references to real life persons unless directly tied to another entry. I'll touch on those another time. Though with that said, cause I can't mention it later, I gotta give shoutouts to my man Robert Zemeckiff, cause honestly, that one's pretty funny. I also want to clarify what our sample size is. For this video, we'll be pulling entries from Chaos Head, Chaos Child, Steins Gate, Steins Gate Zero, and their respective anime. Now you might be wondering, well, where's Robotics Notes? Seeing that Robotics Notes English release is right around the corner, with Dash hopefully not being too far behind, I don't want to lowball the entries for that one. The same goes with the spin-offs, since both Love Choo Choo games are untranslated, and full disclosure here, I haven't played the Steins Gate spin-offs yet. Plus there's plenty to work with as is, so it's not a major loss. Maybe after Dash is released, probably sometime next year, I can do a follow-up covering the rest and anything I miss here, but until then we'll make do with what we got. Finally, as you probably could infer, I'm not pretending to show you a 100% complete list of brand references. Even from our smaller sample size, I acknowledge that there's still plenty that I've probably missed. Consider this more of a greatest hits of brands from the first two branches of Society V. With all that said, let's start getting into it. I wanted to start with the sodas because these are the ones people probably already know, but actually Chaos Head doesn't have a knockoff soda. Takumi does drink soda, but the visual novel just calls it cola, and the anime gets around it by just using a generic red brand, which is pretty disappointing if we're going to be honest here. Luckily we have Steinsgate here to go and pick up the slack. Probably the most well known product from Society V is DK Pepper the drink of intellectuals, and a reference to the real-life Dr. Pepper. Actually, this one takes on a lot of different forms for some reason. In the original visual novel, it's referred to as Dr. People, and in the movie, it's called Dr. Pepper. You know, with the K instead of a C. Perhaps they kept flying too close to the sun and had to keep changing it? Whatever the case, one truth still remains, and that's that it does in fact come in diet. Meanwhile, in Chaos Child, Takaru has his fridge filled with bottles of Mountain View, referencing the gamer fuel itself, Mountain Dew. Sadly, we never do get to see the knockoffs of all the other flavors, because I would love to see what a knockoff Baja Blast would be. Moving on to media, the future gadget inventions give us plenty to work with as every one of them besides the phone wave, name subject to change, is a reference to an in-universe brand. The first of these is the Bit Particle Cannon, which is a reference to Mobile Jacket Gunbam, which is based on the Mobile Suit Gundam franchise. Next is the Bamboo Helicam, which is a reference to 22 Emon, which is based on 21 Emon, which is a manga set in the Doraemon universe. Then there's Could This Be Aura Aura? which is based on the in-universe Juju's Bizarre Adventure, which, yes, is a JoJo reference. And for those curious, Juju does have stands, and it still has the world. 
the Mode Snake references Metal MOA Solid Rising, which is a reference to Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance. While, once again, I've made something worthless by Goemon, is a quote from Lupin's the Third, which is based on Lupin the Third. The Sialum Saber is based on the sci-fi movie franchise Spark Wars, which is based on the real-world Star Wars franchise. This one also shows up in Chaos Child, where it's not even subtle. Finally, there's Ghost in the Ball, which is a reference to Ghost in the Husk, which is based on Ghost in the Shell. No, not that one. There we go. That covers all of the future gadgets, so let's get the rest of the anime out of the way. Code Geass is a reference to Code Geass, right down to the main character Zero Sum being a reference to Zero. In a similar vein, the Familiar of Ten is based on the Familiar of Zero, right down to Louise Chan. I think that's her? I don't know, I haven't watched it. Uh, Master Keaton with a C is based on Master Keaton with a K, and Cladan is based on Clanad. Moving away from anime, we have the semi-famous Alpalka Man, which is most likely based on the Dreamcast game Seaman. By the way, while researching for this video, I learned that they made a sequel to that game on the PlayStation 2 in 2007, eight years after the original. Stay weird, Sega. And then there's Call of Counterfield, which is a weird amalgamation of Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, and Battlefield. To wrap up the media section, we have Batman which is obviously based on Batman, It's My Wonderful Life, which is based on It's a Wonderful Life, 8, which has the same awful spelling that I hate as 7, the movie it's based on, alongside its director, David Fincher, which is based on David Fincher, and in a similar vein, we have 1407 by Stephen Queen, based on the horror story 1408 by Stephen King, and then finally, there's MacDyver, based on MacGyver. MacDyver. All of the SciADP protagonists are internet savvy geeks, so let's do websites next. Starting us off is Facebook, which is based on Facebook, and also is what Google keeps suggesting to you after you misspelled it that one time. Then there's the shopping site Jungle, which is a kinda clever play on Amazon, and the ever important Nikonia, which is based on the real world video site Nico Nico. Capping off the social media, we have Twitter. I was gonna use that one for Twitter, and we have at channel based off of 5 channel. We also have Mewtube, which is based on YouTube, and its parent company Goodle, or Deloodle in Chaos Head? Uh, how quaint. But either way, they're based off of Google. Speaking of Chaos Head, it features Yaboo, and then instantly changes it to Daboo, which are both plays off of Yahoo. And then it has its Wikipedia knockoff, We Keep It. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying that. Perhaps the most important application in SciADV is the basis of Zero's trigger system, Rhine, which is based on the real-world messaging app, Line. And by the way, those cute little stickers that you see in-game can be bought for use in the real-world app, which of course I did, and are great. From the computers in Chaos Child, we can see a few other interesting applications. There is iTunes, based on the real-world iTunes, and Internet Escape, a browser developed by manufacturer Mindors, based on Internet Explorer and Microsoft. Then there's After Actions and Photostore Elements, based on Adobe's After Effects and Photoshop. And this one's really personal to me, the Voice Synthesizer Vocalo by Yamana, based on Yamaha's Vocaloid software. We're backtracking a bit here, but let's talk about food real quick, because these ones are always fun. Uh, starting off is Pringles, which is based off of the real world Pringles. And then next we have Starbucks, based off the coffee chain Starbucks. And the burger chain King Burger, based off of Burger King. And then there's McDemades, which that's hit product, the McPork. That's only what it is in Chaos Head though. All later versions of it are simplified to simply be McD's.
To cap this off, let's talk about various companies. The most noteworthy of this would be CERN with an S, based off of CERN with a C, and IBM based off of IBM. Far less important, from Steinsgate, we can see on Suzuha's bike that it's made by Rianchi, which is a knockoff of the company Bianchi. Then there's also the animation company Drinkworks, which is a play off of DreamWorks. Ramasonic and Somvi are based off of Panasonic and Sony, respectively. And Lotto 6 is based off of the real world Lotto 6, just with a number this time. Uh, the group DERPA is based off of DARPA. And finally, the manufacturer ASUS is based off of the real world ASUS. Phew, that was a lot of land name products. Once again, I'm not pretending for this to be a complete list, but it should be a good look onto how these products are altered to remain distinct. Hopefully after Robotics Notes and Robotics Notes Dash comes out, we can take another look at this and see what other crazy products are waiting within the universe of Psy ADV. Seriously though, whose idea was this? Hey, whoa, I have an end card now. This is primarily going to be used to more effectively link my stuff and chill my other stuff. Uh, as mentioned in the description of the last video, I'm trying to do a bit more in regards to video content, and so the ones you're seeing right now are really early and very rough. I would appreciate any feedback on anything, either via the YouTube comments and Twitter. That's all I really gotta say for now, so until next time, see ya!